Hi there, welcome to the Treehouse Pad and Paper Artist Line brand instructional drawing video series. I'm Matt, one of the Treehouse artists. Today we are going to feature the Artist Line brand 11 by 8.5 inch sketchbook. As you can see, our sketchbook has heavy duty twin wire coil binding, three detailed sketch drawings with techniques, quality medium weight sketch paper that is micro perforated for easy sheet removal and an extra thick chipboard backing so you can sketch anywhere. Today we are going to learn how to sketch a person from life or from a photograph. We will focus on basic body proportions, tonal values and some extra details. This lesson is shown on the first page. Let's get started. Okay, let's take a look at step number one. Whether you're trying to draw a person or any object from the real world, getting the correct proportions seems to be the key to a great result. And getting the proportions right can be very frustrating. We don't have a live model, so we will use a photograph for reference. Here's a very casual snapshot. For the purpose of this video, I edited out some details so we stay focused on our subject. Notice that I'm using the photograph to illustrate what normally would be my observations about the points that best define the model's proportions. Point number one, the top button of her sweater which seems to be the center of her upper body and the center point of my sketch. The width of her shoulders, which create a triangle together with point number one. The top of her head, which, if you imagine a line between her shoulders, will be approximately as far away from it as the button the top of her right knee, the top of her left wrist. Please note how the locations of the body joints provide great feedback about physical proportions, as well as perspective. Here is the difficult part. The snapshot was badly composed and we will try to imagine and include her right hand in our sketch. We'll become our own model for a moment and find a missing hand. If you try to sit in a chair like in the photo, your right hand will naturally fall approximately at the edge of the seat. Let's try to reproduce these observations in our sketch using a sharp, hard pencil. Time for step number two. We will now use our framework drawn in step one to locate some details. We will again make careful observations first and then use hard pencil and delicate lines to draw important edges. As you define more shapes, keep evaluating your work. Cross check proportions of torso, head, forearms and other body parts as you draw. Connect dots with lines and see if they intersect in the same places as in your reference photo or live model. This can be really challenging. Don't be afraid to use your eraser.
Step number three will determine how dark our sketch will be in the end. Now that we're happy with how the proportions play together, it's time to have fun with shading. First, decide what elements in our sketch are the darkest, like the shadow on her pants, and which are the lightest, like the bright spots on her sweater. Then, we'll try to imagine which area is medium dark or 50% gray. This will help us not to go too dark with other tones, but it will also help us achieve proper saturation, so our sketch doesn't look washed out. Note that a harder pencil will make delicate shading easier. Another useful method is holding the pencil further away from the lead tip, which eases the pressure on paper. To achieve really dark shades, use a medium-soft, sharp pencil and work it slowly into the paper fiber. Sometimes you'll need more than one coat to achieve deeper tones. We don't have to figure out all the details right now, we will get them in the last step.
Now we will add final touches and make sure that our sketch has the contrast we want. In the last step you may notice that I didn't go dark enough in some spots and our drawing needs more contrast. That may help bring out some detail like a seam on the model's jeans. Now is also the time we take a close look at all the areas with fine detail. We also paid attention to leave her sleeves well lit, but the model deserves more definition. So in the end, we will add background to emphasize the silhouette.
Remember, these are all just guidelines. Work in your personal style and have fun producing your artwork. Thank you so much for watching. Keep a lookout for other Treehouse Artist Line brand products at a retailer near you and more of our instructional drawing videos. See you soon!